Hello everyone, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com and in this video I want to give you an overview of the 61 behaviors that are contained in the core bundle that is included in Squash and Stretch Pro. The highlights section contains behaviors that tell the viewer, hey, look at me, I am important. So they are great to focus the attention of the viewer to a particular element. The in behaviors include three subgroups, bounces, moves, and on the spot. The bounces include seven different behaviors which will drop or throw the layer in the composition in various ways. The move in behaviors slide or move the layer into the composition. By default they all come from the left side but as any behavior of course you can flip them to create more variation. The on the spot behaviors range from the rather subtle and elegant zoom in to the conspicuous jump and inflate. When watching the previews, also keep in mind that sound effects will add a lot more life to the animations. In contrast to the animate in behaviors, the moves are not intended to move elements into the scene, but rather to move layers from one place to another one. I often like to combine those with other behaviors. So you can, for example, first drop a letter into the scene, and then move it to its final position, as I show in the shift position tutorial. The out animations make layers disappear in various ways. As you can see, we've got plenty of them with various styles. Similar to the moves, the rotations are very useful if you combine them with other behaviors. So you can, for example, first slide a logo upside down into the scene and then apply the 180 degrees swinging rotation to rotate it into its final position. Transitions are special behaviors that are usually used to create a transition between two layers. For more details, see my mini tutorial about transitions. Finally, the core bundle also contains various wiggle behaviors. As you can see, those wiggle behaviors come with way more personality than the ubiquitous wiggle expression. One wiggle that I used often is the impact wiggle, or also the impact wiggle subtle. If you have a big text bouncing into your scene, for example, you can apply this impact wiggle to other elements in the scene so that it looks like the impact is so intense that it is shaking everything around it. This kind of secondary animation adds a lot of credibility and consistency to your animation. So these are the behaviors you get when you purchase the pro version of Squash and Stretch. Note that in contrast to the free version, Squash and Stretch Pro can also be extended with additional bundles. We will develop more and more extra bundles over time. If you want to be informed about the release of new extra bundles, please subscribe to the Mama World newsletter at mamaworld.com forward slash subscribe. Again, this is Eric D. Kirk for mamaworld.com and we'll see you next time.